Both your parents, when you were growing up, yeah. were drug users, is that yes. correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and alcoholics as well, yeah. So t wow. your dad, you've rekindled your relationship with him recently, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. He's a, he's a good dude, man. He I was There was a, a point in his life when he wasn't the best guy. One of my earliest memories was probably about four years old, being left in southeast D.C. while he went to go smoke crack with some chick that wasn't my mom. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I would have preferred if they smoked crack together. Yeah, come on. As <laughs> all good couples do. Definitely. At least share the crack. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was conceived out of wedlock three days after they met on my mom's best friend's floor, apparently. Wow. Leave it up to my dad to tell you that at a Yeah, he's like, son, I have something I want to <laughs> share with you. Yeah, so they were never really together. <laughs> but I, I saw your dad in, I think it was like an MTV interview, and he seems like your biggest fan. It was oh, very sweet. He had the Rat Pack <laughs> yeah. hat on. He had the, the uh, one of your album cover shirts. He yeah. was all decked out. He's a good dude. And what I've realized... Uh, seems smart and thoughtful. Yeah, he... There was just a time when, because like my dad has stolen my identity and like created credit cards with them. He's wow, you know, yeah. Like when I was a child, when I was ten years old, he because uh, we have the same name. So my name is Sir Robert Bryson oh. Hall II, but his name is Robert Bryson Hall. Wow. Mm. And so I guess that's one reason that yeah, good. But there's <laughs> a name of Matthew. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a million and one things that he did negatively. But what I would like to talk about is is the positive. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, there was a time in my in my life when, you know, he kind of did me so wrong. I stopped talking to him, and then he, like, showed up at this signing I had out of nowhere, mm. which was really weird. And I basically told him I never wanted to see him again, mm. and that the next time I w would see him would be at his funeral, which is fucked up. But it was but it was honest because of what he's done. And, he, and I was like, I've given you a million chances. And he's like, I just won a million and one. And I was like, no. And so years I didn't talk to him. And I thought about it um, about a year ago. And I was like, you know what? It's not that I'm angry at my dad. It's that I don't want to be hurt. It's that I don't want to open mm -hmm. up this door and this yeah. vulnerability to be hurt again. And I, I really thought about it. And um, I was like, 60-year-old me is much wiser and would probably still want to do everything that he can to have some sort of relationship right. with this man while he's still here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even though I might not be wise enough to do it, I'm going to do my best, but I'm going to lay down ground rules. And I was like, don't ask me for shit. There was a time my dad asked me for $800,000 to buy him a studio. What? Like it's a, That's it's a big ass. It's, yeah, it's a big ass. Hey, son, uh, you got $800,000. <laughs> you got to work here. You got to you gotta creep in a yeah. little more subtle. <laughs> a little more subtle. Like, yeah. Yo, hey, man. A you know. couple hundred yeah. for groceries. <laughs> so, but there's things, <laughs> there's things I've, I've just learned, like, my dad is, he's my dad, and he's kind of like a really cool uncle. You know, who lets you do shit you shouldn't do or mm. talks to you about shit he doesn't do? Like, my dad steals my weed. Like, that's funny. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's hilarious. But I, I set ground rules. And I was like, don't ask me for shit. Um, you know, there's certain members of my family I just don't talk to because they asked me for a bunch of stuff or they right. wanted things from me. I'm like, I don't want to talk about them. If we're going to have a relationship, <coughs> it's about me and you. Period. Right. Right. And so I, I laid that down. And, and it's been uh, it's been really good. He just got married. Mm. Oh. With a Bluetooth in his ear. My dad wears a Bluetooth all the time. That's that's dad as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's so dad. That's the daddest shit I ever heard. 